Four-time PGA champion Tiger Woods is joining us for the 104th PGA Championship. Tiger, this is your 22nd PGA Championship. The last time you were here, you won here at Tulsa. Can you take us back to 2007 and just maybe share some of the memories you had that week? Yeah, it was um, obviously a very different golf course. It was uh, not cold that week. Um, I remember playing behind JD the first day, which was awesome. Uh, it was what 109, I think, that first day, and asked JD how many how many waters he drank out there. He says, "No, I had 13 Diet Cokes." <laughs> so <laughs> uh, it was it was a it was a great week. Uh, a very different golf course, uh, a lot of irons and like strange irons. Like you normally don't hit a six iron off a tee on a par four, but um, we did that week and. Uh, they've lengthened it, changed it, and uh, it'll be a good test. And, uh, it'll, it'll, I'm curious to see how much firmer it gets as the week goes on. And um, this golf course is going to play uh, where, where Kerry wants it. How's your body? How's your mind as you come to the second major of the year? Yeah, it's, it's better than the last time I played a tournament, so which is good. Um, we've been working hard, and uh, uh, again, just I have days where it's tough, and you know the days where we can we can push through it, but we, we keep working at it. Very good. Questions, ladies and gentlemen. Mike number two, please. Yeah, Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. In the time between the PGA Championship and the Masters, were you, were you able to sort of keep ramping up the training, or did was there a post Masters lull? Yeah, there was a huge lull uh, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. Monday. Monday. Uh, it it was not not fun. It it hurt. Uh, a lot of ice baths and uh, just trying to get the swelling out of there. And then uh, we went back at it leg day on Tuesday, and we kept going from there. And I said, let's go. You know, we we figured you the first mountain you climbed was Everest. I mean, that this is the steepest golf course you're going to play. And that was the first one you climbed and climbed. And so it's going to get flatter and better. Um, but still, it, it I still have tough days, and um, things aren't, aren't going to be as as easy as people might think, but uh, I feel like I'm doing better. Um, I'm having more days in which are, are better, more positive, um, able to practice a little bit longer. Um, so I'm able to do do activities and, and things that um, you know, I was hoping to do, and I'm finally able to do them. What did you learn about your new body and maybe its limitations during that week at Augusta? <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was it was hurting, um, but it, I I pushed through it. And it was more more mind than than body. Um, I, I, I said I, I've I've won with a broken leg before, so um, keep on going out there, keep pushing. Um, I know how to play the golf course if I can just putt well. Um, you never know. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> Saturday I think I had like 15 three putts, um, but uh, it was one of those things that I. It, the, the thing that I was frustrated with is that it deteriorated as the week went on. I got more and more tired and more fatigued. I didn't have the endurance that I wanted. And now, I mean, I, I shouldn't expect it because I didn't earn it. I didn't go out there and I haven't done the work, but we're able to put in a little bit more work and it's only going to get better as time goes on. So uh, as the months pass and um, it's going to get better. Mike one. Tiger, uh, what do you make of Phil not being here? Defending champion, great win last year yeah. that he had, and here he, you know, we all know what's going on. He's not here. What are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, Bob, I mean, it's it's always disappointing when the defending champion's not here. Um, Phil is, has said some things that I think a, a lot of us who are committed to the tour and committed to the the legacy of the tour have pushed back against and um, he's taken some personal time and uh, we all understand that but I think that some of his views and how the tour could be run should be run um, been a lot of disagreement there um, but as, as 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 we all know as a professional um, we miss him being out here I mean, he's a big draw for the game of golf. Um, he's just taking his time, and um, you know, we we all wish him the best when he comes back. 
obviously we're going to have difference of opinions that how we seize the tour and um, we'll go from there. Are you surprised at all it has escalated to the point that it has where you know he, he also missed the Masters obviously and we really don't know what's no, next? No. Yeah it, it, it has ramped up very quickly and I think in you know we were talking about this you know if this would have happened 30 years ago 20 years ago it wouldn't have happened as fast but social media has changed the landscape and how fast things can ramp up um, whether it's real news or fake news or whatever it is opinions get out there instantly and it can sway very quickly one way or the other and what we're seeing right now in a society it's very bipolar there's really no middle ground you stand one way or the other and it's um, very polarizing and the viewpoints that, that Phil has made, you know, with the tour and what the tour has meant to all of us um, has been polarizing as well. Thank you. Mike, four, please. Tiger, you told me a long time ago that you didn't think golf defined who you are as a person, but I think the resilience you've shown in the last year does say a lot about you. How do you think what you've accomplished over the last year since the accident might inspire others? Well, you, it's, every day is a challenge for all of us. All of us, we all have our own challenges um, in our own different way, right? And, and you wake up to the new challenge, the new day, and, you know, you just got to fight through it. And some challenges are more, more difficult than others. Um, it doesn't mean that they're harder or easier than others. They're just different. Um, mine were, were different than some others. Um, some other people have been through much worse than I have. Um, you know, we have seen some pretty amazing, I have seen some pretty amazing things working with the military and what they've done and what they come back from. Guys have, have lost limbs and have come back and requalified for special forces and uh, things like that are inspiring, you know, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sore. Uh, that's, that's okay, but I can still get better. Question on mic six, please. Uh, Tiger, you're going to hit more driver here than uh, more often than you did in 2007. Mm. There's more short grass around the greens. Uh, do you think uh, this is a better test uh, than the one in 2007? Which would you prefer to, to, to play? Now, given my body? <laughs> Anything like around 6,200 is great. Um, no, um, it, uh, it's, it's just different. You know, it's just it's faster, it's more wide open. Um, we saw what the, this, how the seniors played it. Um, a lot of balls were hitting and running off to the sides where, you know, that, that wasn't the case when we played in 07. It was catching in the rough. Um, but the, I think that some of the, there's, there's more, for me, I think there's more slope in some of these greens. Um, obviously, the, there's more waves in the, in the fairways and uh, hitting very different clubs off the tees, uh, but still, it's it's a challenge. And I, I I've said earlier, I think Kerry's going to set it up. You know, I think he's going to do a wonderful job setting it up. It's going to be fair. It's going to be hard. Um, the rough is is at a it, it's at a it's at a great length. It's interesting because you can get a ball that comes out uh, hot, or you didn't get a ball that comes out at all. And uh, that's the the great guessing game of playing Bermuda. And then with the surrounds being cut down uh, how they are um there's a lot more grain than we ever had to deal with so you know there can be different shots you know guys are i've seen guys use hybrids i've seen guys use three woods putts wedges four irons i mean you see, you'll see a variety of different things um but uh and then the forecast is going to be different every day and there's wind it's supposed to be all different directions so we're going to see different golf course almost every day mike number five Tiger, you mentioned that you kind of lost endurance as, as the mm -hmm. round of the Masters went on. What have you learned about your body or your, the recovery process since that's going to be able to help you recover better after the rounds and be able to last longer into the tournament? Well, it, we, my, my, my team did a, and just an amazing job just to get me to a point where I could play the Masters, and I was able to have that opportunity to play. Um, <laughs> right after each round, it was like get back to the house, and we have an ice bath ready for you, and off you go, get on the treatment table, and uh, you know, let's just keep working at it, keep keep things going. And uh, it it was tough. It was hard. It was hard on all of us. Um, but I've gotten stronger since then. 
but still, it's 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 still going to be sore, and and you know, walking is a, is a challenge. I can hit golf balls, um, but it's the challenge is is, is walking, and um, it's going to be that way for uh, for foreseeable future for sure. In the back row, fourteen. Yeah, Tiger. Um, has, has there have, with the foundation have you considered mm -hmm. a uh, an event? Much like uh, the one Bill Dickey used to put on, I'm yeah, sure you remember yeah. him. Oh yeah, uh, that would benefit kids all over the country and give people a chance to see exactly what the foundation is doing. Well, see that we we've gone away from golf-based events. We had fundraisers that are golf-based events, um, but our our foundation is not based in golf. Our fundraising is based in golf, but our program is based in STEM, and uh, so we focus on STEM and getting kids. Um, into STEM programs in a variety of different STEM programs. Uh, but yes, we use golf as a fundraiser, but um, we're not here to produce professional golfers. Uh, we're here to give underserved kids better chances in life. And I think that's more important. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mike Nine, please. Yeah. Hey, Tiger. How close are you physically now to being as good as it's going to get based on your injuries? I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know. Um, there's going to be limitations. I mean, there's a lot of hardware in there, and, and there, so there's going to be limitations to what I'm going to be able to do. And um, but I'm going to get I'm going to get stronger. I don't know how how much that is, or how much range of motion I'll, I'll ever get back. Um, but I'm sure, it's a hell of a lot better than it was you know 12 months ago. Mike Nine, now please. Yeah. Tiger, you mentioned all the changes to the golf course. Mm. One, do you like those changes? And two, your winning score here was eight under in 07. Do you envision it being similar? All the guys have mentioned it's playing tougher then, so do you envision that score maybe being lower? It, I, I think it all depends on where where, where Kerry puts the pins. Um, when, when, when I watched the, the seniors play, and th there was a lot of balls running off the sides, uh, a lot of chip shots. Um, but you know, we're, we're getting these young kids hitting the ball high and far, and uh, you know, a couple of the par fives are what 6:30, and guys are knocking on there in two. Some some of the guys uh, depends on the wind, obviously, but it, it guys have a lot more power than what we did in 07. I mean, look at what we did on the range. We, we can't use the top end of the range anymore because guys are hitting it down on the bottom. So uh, the game has changed a lot, and because the game has changed a lot. Gill's done a fantastic job of altering the golf course. And I, it has a lot more shot options, that, that, that's for sure. And we're going to be tested around the greens a lot. A um, lot of grain, a lot of creativity. Um, but it still puts a premium on putting the ball in play and on the fairway and keeping the ball somehow below the holes in the right spots. Uh, as I said, there's still a lot of slope in this, on these greens, a lot of pitch. Uh, but it is kind of nice to see 9 and 18 not cut at a different speed. <laughs> Question on three. Tiger, how confident are you that you can contend this week and just basically can you win this week? I feel like I can, yeah. Definitely. I just got to go out there and do it. I got to do my work. And it um, starts on Thursday and I'll be ready. Question <laughs> on 12. Yeah, Tiger, you, uh, you mentioned your putting at Augusta, particularly that Saturday uh, didn't go the way you wanted it to. Do you feel like with your physical limitations, you're able to practice enough with the putter to get that club back to a championship level? What? No. As far as practicing a lot, no, I don't, I don't do that anymore. Um, uh, bending over and hitting a, a bunch of putts like I used to, that doesn't happen. Uh, not with my back the way it is. And uh, I got to pick my spots, uh, do my work, and, and get in and then get out. I can do different sessions. You know, I have a, a great complex in the backyard, but, but I can do like different times throughout the day and do like a 20 minute segment here, a 20 minute segment there, another 20 segment, 20 segment later on in the evening. I, I can break it up and do it that way instead of putting for two, three hours in a row like I used to. Um, I just have to do it differently. Hey, Tiger, you, you said to Bob about the disagreement with a lot of what, what Phil had said. From your point of view, how, how does he resolve that disagreement or, or does he have to resolve that disagreement? What, what do you think? I, d I don't know if if he has to resolve it or not. Um, you know, he has his opinion on where he sees the game of golf going. Um, you know, I have my, my viewpoint on how I see the golf, the game of golf, and I've supported the tour, and I've 
my foundation has run events on the tour for a number of years. And I just think that what Jack and Arnold has, have done in starting the tour and breaking away from the PGA of America and creating our tour, um, what, in 68 or 69, somewhere in there, um, I just think that there's a legacy to that. I've been playing out here for a number of years, for over a couple of decades, and I think there's a legacy to it. And um, I still think that what the, the, the tour has so much to offer, um, so much opportunity. Yes, it is, I, I understand different viewpoints, but I believe in legacies, I believe in major championships, I believe in big events, um, comparisons to historical figures um, of, of the past. And it's, you know, there's plenty of money out here. The tour is growing. Um, but it's just like any other sports, like tennis. You got to go out there and earn it. Um, you got to go out there and play for it. We have, to see, we have the opportunity to go ahead and do it. Uh, it's just not guaranteed up front. Over here on nine, please. Nine. Tiger, yeah. with your event, you have rights fees that you pay to the tour mm -hmm. in some form or another. Do you think Phil, because he hadn't done events before some of these matches and whatnot, do you think he just didn't understand the rights fees and how they work? I, I can't speak for him not, not knowing and understanding that. I'm, I'm sure he probably does have an understanding of that because he was the host of the term of the old Bob Hope. So since he was the host of the event, um, I, yeah, I'm sure he probably understands it. And plus he, was, he hosts the, the event up there in Napa Valley. So. Um, he understands that, and there is there is a rights fee to um, having events and understanding it. And we we negotiate with the tour, and whether it's one-off day events like we have with matches um, under the lights, like I used to do, you know, back in the old days, or it's regular tour events. Um, each term is different, and uh, obviously there's rights fees that have to be paid, and uh, we understand that, and. Obviously, we, we go in there as events and try to negotiate that down as low as possible and um, try and make as much money as we can for the local events. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.